So now what we're going to do, we're going to try to characterize our simple harmonic motion. So what exactly is simple harmonic motion? Now I want you to imagine a ball, a red ball over here that is moving in a uniform circular motion like so. Okay, so it's going to go around and around and around. And I'm going to shine a light over here and therefore it casts a shadow over there. Now, as this ball moves around this circle, you expect the shadow to move up and down like so. And if I just look at the move of, movement of the shadow, that shadow would be doing simple harmonic motion. And so we see that simple harmonic motion can be met to a uniform circular motion. And so we first talk about the concept of phase, which is something like an angular displacement. So let's put that here angular displacement. So let's understand what phase is. Phase is simply describing a certain position on an SHM. So for example, over here, right, this would be a phase angle, or sorry, an angular displacement of zero degrees. And so we call this position over here, the phase of this SHM to be zero radians as well. And so if this ball moves, you can notice that this angular displacement here will start to go from zero to 90 or should I say 0 to pi over 2 radians. And so as the ball moves along this path and eventually makes its way up here, we say that the phase here is equal to pi over 2 radians. And of course, you can see that as this ball moves down, okay, this angle will then be pi radians, and that would be here. And so on its way down, the phase would then be equal to pi radians. And of course, I think you can see the rest of the story. So this over here would correspond to a, a phase of 3 pi over 2 radians. And then we are back to the middle. Very nice. And so you can see that phase simply describes a particular position of an SHM. And if you think of it as mapped to a circular motion, it really is quite simple. So now, what we're going to do now we are going to try to characterize this motion with an equation. So let's consider the ball at some particular displacement x from equilibrium, in which case my ball would be over here, casting this shadow, and this would be the angular displacement or the phase at that moment. So I can describe x simply as x equals to, well, if I knew the radius of this circle as r, then this x would then equal to r sine theta. Now, I do not want to describe my displacement from equilibrium, from equilibrium with r radius because this circle technically is an imaginary one. And so if you think about it, when the shadow is up here, that is actually the maximum displacement from equilibrium, which we like to call the amplitude, x naught. And this would mean that your ball is here, and so x naught is equal to r, and so x is equal to the amplitude x naught sine theta. And remember, since this guy is in uniform circular motion, then theta is simply the angular velocity times t. And therefore, I can describe the displacement from equilibrium x as equals to its amplitude x naught, some sinusoidal function sine omega t. A wonderful way to characterize SHM.